Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada, attending Commercial UAV Expo. We're here with several of our members from the survey school. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. Let's head inside of the exhibit hall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, yeah. thank you. You. Yay! Don't oh, worry, you get one too. Cheers. Let's <laughs> go. Look who showed up late. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Good to good, see good, you. Good, good, good. I got something for you. <laughs> Your very own survey school hat. Sweet, thank you. <laughs> of course. And Todd, this one is for you as well. well thank you. Of I'll course. Have Mike. All right. Tell us about your crazy work at GeoNet. Hey, Rami, good to see you. <laughs> I am really excited to talk about GeoNet and all the growth we've had as an RTK network. And one of the things that we find really interesting is drone boxes. So what this is, is a, a design we've been working on that uses GeoNet, uses an RTK receiver. It's a dual antenna, sub 250 gram RTK drone. And we've been working on a box that this drone can take off and land on. So you can imagine like home security. I could put one of these drones at my house and if somebody's breaking in, I could pop the drone up and get video footage all around my property and do that in a very easy, no, non-technical way because of RTK and because of the fact that the drone automatically launches and flies out of the box and comes back. is to really narrow down what I want and what I don't want for drone services or what platforms I'm going to use. Uh, you know, you always got to see what's up and coming in the industry, what new technologies are being used uh, in the drone space and how I can integrate that into my survey business. So coming here, I've actually had the opportunity to see all the equipment and talk to the vendors and ask very specific questions and get so much information in a short time. So Anyway, I use them just for fun, just playing around with them. And I thought, man, I, I got, I'm a civil engineer, so I thought I got to um, figure out how to make money with these so I can write everything off. <laughs> so, yeah. so I finally, I got a Phantom 4 Pro, yeah. and I started doing maps with that. And uh, as a civil engineer, you know, people often say, well, I need a topo. And I said, well, you can hire a group, a ground crew, or I could do it for less than half probably of what they would charge you. Yeah. So I've did I've probably done at least 150 maps over the last few years. Amazing. It's it's a much more efficient way. Right. Because if you know the surveying and that's kind of like what we're teaching is like the surveying. How do how do you properly get the controls so that these yeah. drones actually give you good data? Well, I, I'm kind of self-taught. So when I, I went on YouTube and just trying to find it, and I found you on yeah. YouTube. So I watched you for quite a while, and I thought this guy is really sharp. He knows his stuff. You know. Thank you. <laughs> So then, then when then when they announced the school, I think I joined a month or two after you started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were really early on. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the the first month or so that you started it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, just upgraded to the yearly plan so I can get the software. That's really oh, yeah, a lot of good resources. Really, yeah. really good benefit. Yeah. So K State started a program in 2017 mm -hmm. at the Salina School, which is about an hour away. Yeah. And they were like, we're going to do it in Manhattan as well. And about a year later, they said, oh. We're just going to do it in Salina. So my employer was like, we can't have you driving to Salina twice a week. So you missed out. Yeah. Oh. Well, we hope to supplement anything you've missed. So <laughs> Being around really like-minded people and learning the industry from the inside and meeting all the vendors. There's quite a few of the vendors here, here now that remember me from Geo Week. I remember them. We converse, we talk. You know, I even you know, purchase equipment because of these, uh, these vendors. And... It's well worth it. It really helps me make the right choices financially to get my drone business where it needs to be. Right? It, I can learn so much here in a day and a half, two days, that will allow me to make much better financial decisions when it comes to equipment. You know, if you're in the survey business or you're in the survey school and you want to come out to one of these things, I highly suggest you do. Has been incredibly valuable already in the first hour and a half. All right, so that's a wrap for day one. Guys, how did you like the exhibit hall here at Commercial UAV Expo? It was awesome. There's a really big drone all the way back there. That was my favorite part. Awesome. It's great. A lot, of, a lot of neat toys to look at. Come back tomorrow for day two here in Las Vegas for Commercial UAV Expo.